Hey guys, today we're going to maiden flight the ASK-14 glider. Uh, this is my first glider and the first time I've flown anything with this big a wingspan, so I'm pretty uh, excited to fly this thing and uh, get it up in the air and see how she flies. Uh, this plane is really unique because it's actually designed uh, from the manufacturer to be just like this with the wheels on the wing tips and a retractable no uh, main gear. So that way it's a completely self-sufficient glider. So this is a really cool glider that I'm excited to get out and fly. And I got an onboard camera that I'm going to put on here too for you guys. And I'll show you guys how I set all that up in a little bit later. Let's get this up in the air. This is a fully 3D printed RC glider with a 2.5 meter wingspan. If you guys have not seen my build video for this, go check it out on my YouTube channel. I'll also throw a link in the description of this video. Uh, I have a full, highly detailed build video for showing step by step how to assemble this airplane, every single part of it. And you guys can purchase SDL files from planeprint.com. I'll throw a link in the description for that link also. And you guys can purchase SDL files, throw this on your printer, and build yourself an awesome glider. All right, we have the glider of this thing. It is flying really good. This is my first glider. It took off really easy. And uh, yeah, it's just flying really well. It looks really cool in the air. Had a little bit of pitch up to it and just trimmed it down a little bit. And uh, wow, it just it flies really well and uh, the takeoff was easy. Yeah, this is a fun plane to fly. Well, for the first attempt to try to land the glider, I was testing its gliding capability with uh, forgetting to put the spoilers up on the landing, so we'll try that again. Wow, that wouldn't be good. God. Okay, so after the maiden flight, the maiden flight went really well. I uh, just need a little bit of trim on the elevator to keep it flying level. Uh, and then after that, it was very stable, flew really well. Uh, the spoilers worked really nice for coming down to land. It really cut the lift and bring it down to land. Uh, taking off and landing with the single wheel worked really well. Uh, I used a camera, I had the camera facing forward for the maiden, and now I'm gonna turn it to the side. Uh, I have a side mount here. Uh, so I have two canopies, one for just look and uh, for when I'm not recording with the camera. and then. Uh, this one I'll be using uh, the camera off the wing. Are you going to land? Yeah. Did it break in half or what? Well, unless it comes apart, yeah. No, it doesn't <laughs> come apart. <laughs> yeah, it just... Huh. Yeah, it broke right behind that seam. Yeah, because the other one has like a bottom on it. So it's 
Well, unfortunately, I couldn't get that awesome camera angle off the wing like I wanted to. Uh, this is actually the first time using that run cam onboard camera, so I'm just trying to learn like where to put it at, how to mount it, and what the best placement is for it. Uh, so it's flying good without the canopy, so we'll just continue flying with that. Uh, actually, for this plane and all the planes on my YouTube channel, I don't use any kind of gyros or stabilization or anything like that. Uh, you can definitely add that stuff to your any of these airplanes that I'm building. Uh, it'll just make it a little bit more of a beginner plane for you. If you go out and fly it in the wind and stuff like that, it'll be a little easier to fly. It'll compensate for the wind a little bit. Uh, but I like to go out and fly it with just a straight up six channel receiver, and that way I can really tell like how well the plane's actually built and how well it's designed to fly. Hey guys, so after flying my first glider, that was awesome. This was a really fun glider to build and fly. I definitely recommend getting one of these. You guys can get them, your STL files from planeprint.com. I got a, a link in the description below so you can get the STL files. You can follow my build video. I have a full build video, but I'll throw a link up for that also. And if you guys like videos like this, please subscribe to my channel, hit the like button, and add any comments. So uh, thanks for watching guys, and we'll see you guys in the next build.